What if the Browns have the number one pick and do not take a quarterback? I asked myself that question. I said, what happened with other teams who had the number one pick in the draft, no quarterback? Number one, no quarterback. Good idea, bad idea. This is like my version of analytics. In other words, I had pro football reference out, kind of like some stuff up. In the last 20 years, there have been seven drafts, seven out of 20, where a quarterback was not picked number one. So I said, okay, well, what happened in those drafts where no quarterback was taken? In five of those drafts, a player was taken, number one, who at least made one Pro Bowl. Most of them made multiple Pro Bowls. In other words, they were good to really good to outstanding players. Anybody from Keyshawn Johnson to... Um, J Jadavian Clowney was one. Another was Mario Williams. Good players. The two that didn't make Pro Bowls, one was a guy named Eric Fisher in 2013, which was like a nightmare draft, no good players in it. He's an offensive lineman with Kansas City. He didn't make a Pro Bowl, but he started. In fact, the Chiefs just gave him a $40 million contract extension a year ago, so they like him enough to keep him around. And then there's one, I mentioned this before, the ghost of Courtney Brown. The ghost of Courtney. The one, as they call it, outlier. The one, quote, mistake of the last 20 years, the guy that was drafted number one, non-quarterback, who didn't make a pro ball and really struggled. Your Cleveland Browns in the year 2000 took Courtney Brown. And actually, Courtney Brown's problem was major knee injuries and other injuries. But he's really, if you look at it, the one big disappointment. Then I said, okay, let's look at these drafts where no quarterback was taken, number one. Did anybody miss a big-time quarterback in this? And in only one of those seven drafts did that happen. That was the year 2008, where Matt Ryan went number three, and then later on in that draft, Joe Flacco went. Two quarterbacks that have taken their teams to the Super Bowl. But the other drafts, and I outlined all this both in my uh, notes over the weekend and in the paper. Most of the time when I said there were no good quarterbacks in that draft, there were no good quarterbacks in that draft. Which brings us of course to this year where Miles Garrett is sort of the consensus number one player and people are all over the place about the quarterbacks. Perhaps this is, will be another year where Miles Garrett goes number one and perhaps Mitch Trubisky turns into Joe Flacco or turns into Matt Ryan or one of these other guys does. But the odds are, I'm playing the odds, if the Browns actually take Miles Garrett and he stays reasonably healthy, he'll make some Pro Bowls and they won't sit there and say, gee, we messed up the draft. Mm -hmm.